Good morning everybody and welcome to Tide and Seek. I'm Martin, so we're out fishing again. I've been out so many times recently, but I just keep blanking, so apologies for the lack of content, but I don't want to keep giving you content where it's just uh, me blanking all the time. So I'm just going to keep trying until I catch something, basically. I guess that's the idea of fishing, but yeah. So target species today is anything really, probably um, flatties, like flounders, maybe an early place, yeah right, or dabs, I'll be happy with a rocklin to be honest, anything. So let me spin the camera around, there you go, our rods are out in the water, respooled all my uh, surf blaster line yesterday, looks very nice and pink, quite like that pink uh, rover, I um, can't remember what it is now, pink line anyway. But yeah, we'll give it a few hours here today. I don't catch anything today. I'll probably go again tomorrow, because I'm a nutcase. And I've got time on my hands. But who wouldn't want to be out on a day like this? Got a couple of anglers down there. A few dog walkers. Most people are at work. Yeah. I definitely don't want to be sitting indoors when uh, I've got weather like this. It's um, more of a westerly wind today, which ain't bad. And it's a bit, bit breezier than it was yesterday, but um, it's actually quite nice. It got a bit too hot yesterday, if anything. Yeah, so uh, catch up with you in a bit. Right, so I just wanted to talk about the uh, bait that I've got today. Hopefully you can see me alright, it's a bit of a glare, but this is... Oh, there we go. Use my head to block the sun. But yeah, so bait today, I've just... Uh, it's the worms I went bait digging. Uh, Wednesday, Wednesday evening it is currently Friday and uh, all I've done is dug some worms out, I've got about 35, just enough for me to uh, have a couple of sessions. Um, but yeah, so I'll just show you one now. You see that? That is just like the typical stamp of uh, blow lug, what it's called around here. Um, and it is all over the beach. It's probably the best bait for like general fishing, especially around Herne Bay. Um, but yeah, it's got a lot of scent in it. Just uh, easy to thread onto the hook. And yeah, it just seems to catch near enough, near enough everything. I've my uh, smooth hound that I caught in the summer last year that was caught on a uh, straight lugworm, low lug. So I know it works. Well not been working at the minute but whatever but yeah so that's what I'm using but um, all I do is keep it got this bucket here um, as soon as I've dug them I put them in the bucket with some seawater you can see them in the bottom there sorry the angle's not very good I put a little bit of sediment in there and uh, I take spin the camera around again I uh, take a little uh, milk jug and fill it up with seawater and uh, just switch it out so they've always got fresh water in there. And they'll last quite a long time like that. You know, good four or five days. But you have to be on top of it. If there's any uh, busted ones in there that have uh, died or whatever, take them out straight away. You can put them in a separate tub if you want and use them because, you know, flounders and um, dabs and stuff, they like manky old worms, supposedly. Um, no, I have caught them on pretty rotten lugworm. So I know it works, but yeah, so that's what I've got. Uh, Rig-wise, I'll show you in a minute. Gonna take a look at the rigs, just round my first one in. Baits have been stripped off. See the bottom hook there, worms completely gone. And I've just got a little section come back on that one. But that's what it is, it's two at flapper, that's what I'm using. Got a quick clip there into the first snood. About eight inch snood down to a I think that's a size two freshwater hook. And then another one that comes down there, nice pink and green beads, and then down to the lead. Yeah, that's all I'm using, that's on both rigs. 
and both rooms. That's on both roads. And yeah, just uh, scratching around for a bit of anything really. But I'm going to get these baited up and uh, cast them out again. So guys, hoping you can see this all right, but I'm going to show you how to bait up a, a worm. I'll put a worm on the hook. This is for the uh, novice anglers. So what we're going to do, take your worm, take your hook, take the point of the hook through the top of the worm, then push it on and roll him up over the bend of the hook. Hopefully you can see this. Keep going, keep going. Pop the head over the eye of the hook. Keep rolling up, don't worry about a little bit of juice coming out of it. That's what the fish like. And hopefully you can see that there. Sit so the point of the hook's proud. And that's ready for casting out. bites and or fish of them as of yet but I have just noticed I don't know if you'll be able to see it I can't even see it now but there was a uh, I think a cormorant or some kind of other sea dwelling bird that was diving down just in front of my rods actually um, or a good probably 250 yards away but I'm just uh, trying to keep an eye on to see if he comes up with anything because you know birds are a good indication if there is anything there so, and I've been down this part before and seen cormorants come up with a place and um, just loads of different things. So it's always worth having a look. But, uh, but he's dived down for quite a long time. You never know where he's going to pop back up again. I don't know if this camera will even see it. But take my word for it, he's uh, definitely out there somewhere. We were also out here yesterday. So, uh, yeah, hopefully if he comes up with something, maybe I will. guys but, but clean hooks that means I'm gonna have to adjust the time of leaving them out because obviously 20 minutes is a bit too long the crabs are on the bite. So in a previous clip guys I was just talking about um, bringing the baits in a bit earlier like timing your baits and stuff like that. Now I only do this with the softer baits like uh, lugworm especially around here because there's a lot of crabs and the crabs chew it all off. So you can't fish with bare hooks. So the idea is I was leaving it out for 20 minutes and then bringing them in there for 20 minutes and seeing the state of the uh, hooks. Sorry. I've just been visited by a dog. But yeah, so I was leaving it out every 20 minutes, bringing it in, but uh, they were getting stripped. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna drop that by five minutes. So every 15 minutes I'm gonna bring them in. You go through a lot of bait but like I said you can't fish with bare hooks so we'll just keep at it see how we get on well a little update guys I just had my first bite but um, I think whatever it was was just I don't know what it was doing but it hasn't been going since it was a proper bite it wasn't the waves or anything I, mean, I know I'm a novice but I can tell the difference well, I think so anyway but yeah so we've had a first bite so that is promising 
it's only just um, the tide's only just started ebbing now, so uh, always fish better on the uh, ebb in Herne Bay. Don't know why, but yes, yeah, so I'm going to keep an eye on it. Hopefully, bring you a fish. I really need to break my blank streak. Well, guys, I have never ever been so happy to see a whiting in my life. This is save the blank finally. Only a little fella. Oh, here it goes. Yeah, it's right down at low tide now. But uh, I'm sticking it out because I need to use the worms up because they're not going to last any longer. But yes, get in. Here's another another species, little tiny schooly bass. I'm really chuffed to see him. Don't want to get him spiked. Only little tiny feathers, so we're going to put him back. Can't keep these ones, especially this small. But what a lovely fish. Oh, I'm so chuffed. Get in. So well, guys, coming towards the end of the session now. I'm gonna, I'm staying for a little bit longer because I just want to use all the worms up. But yeah, whiting and a little schooly bass. I am really chuffed. I know they're not big fish, not monstrous things, but uh, I've been on a blank so much. I was so happy to catch that. Uh, then, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna stay down here for a bit longer. The tide's right out now. I'll show you. Yeah, it was up to there. So it's gone right down, but these, like I said before, the worms I've got aren't going to last any longer, so I might as well use them up. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I did say it fished better on the ebb for me most of the time, and that's definitely uh, shown true today. But, yeah, we'll stay on for a little while longer, see if we can't pick up any uh, little stragglers. Yeah. I'll see you in a bit. Well guys, I was just editing this video and realised that I never actually recorded a sign off. So um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, uh, give us a like. And uh, if you want to see more from me, maybe drop a subscribe. But yeah, I will see you on the beach next time.